Pus cells, also known as white blood cells, are an important component of semen analysis. In a semen sample, pus cells can indicate the presence of an infection or inflammation in the male reproductive system. A small number of pus cells, up to 1 million per milliliter, in semen is considered normal. However, a high number of pus cells, more than 1 million per milliliter, may indicate an infection in the prostate gland, seminal vesicles, or epididymis. Infections can lead to decreased sperm motility and viability, and can also cause infertility. Seminal fluid also contains many other cells, including the epithelial cells which line the male reproductive tract, as well as sperm precursor cells. Most laboratory technicians will report every round cell they see as a pus cell or a WBC, but most of these are actually immature sperm precursors, called spermatocytes or spermatogonia, which look exactly the same. However, most labs don't have the special stains needed to identify whether this round cell is a WBC or not, which is why they will report all the round cells as pus cells. The doctor then promptly prescribes antibiotics, but this is a complete waste, because there was no infection in the first place, and antibiotics will not cause the sperm precursor cells to go away. Patients end up wasting a lot of time and money on taking antibiotics. Some doctors will also send the semen sample to the microbiology lab to try to culture the microbe causing the purported infection. However, it's surprisingly difficult to culture the semen sample properly, because it's often contaminated with the commensals on the skin of the penis, such as E. coli, which causes further confusion. The bottom line is if your semen report does show a few pus cells, please don't panic. Please repeat it again, and ask the lab to do the special stains needed to check if these are actually WBCs. Otherwise, your wife will keep on getting older and losing her fertility, while you waste time because of a poor quality laboratory, or a poorly informed gynecologist.